Hello everyone, Orso here from RVT. So I'm actually inside the house right now and I'm gonna give you a little update of uh, the house here. I'm in the uh, living room right now and it looks more finished. You know, still, they still have uh, some damage right there. Or not damage, but well, some painting to do and caulking. I don't know if you can see there's a crack right there. And then they added that styrofoam. Styrofoam. That's uh here's a little piece somewhere. Looks like that. They just uh they just put it right there between the two seams uh, on the regular flooring this is vinyl on the regular flooring that you know if you get like vinyl like pieces instead of just one roll uh, they usually don't have this right here going but because this one is a roll you know the one that they roll out um, it does have it but if you choose to have um, regular vinyl planks you know or wood or flooring i mean vinyl <laughs> then uh you won't have that seam right there it's gonna be all you know same level which we we'll probably do that later on we're gonna enjoy it like this first with this flooring and then uh maybe in a couple of years we come back and we put some uh some of those vinyl floorings the other the other kind but anyways, uh, I'm gonna keep walking here. And most of this damage around the corners. I don't know if you remember how it was. Right here. And there was like a big uh, gap over here somewhere. And there was some cracks over here. You can, some of them you can still see them, but you know, they just keep coming back because they will never leave it. They uh, keep fixing them. And over here, it still looks, I mean, it's been like a month since last time I've been here or since last I recorded and I mean, I don't see much progress here. The stove is still like the same with the higher there on the pipe. And this, they put this back. At one point they they took them off, but this is not what we actually wanted in here when we first told the uh, Pratt home how we wanted it. Uh, we actually had industrial piping and this doesn't look like piping to me. I don't know about y'all, but nothing like piping. You, you can get those, they charge us like $3,000 more for this butler pantry area. And the only thing that they charge is $3,000 because they added those. Uh, and they added that wall right there because on the planes it wasn't on here. And right here, we, sh we, give, we gave them the pictures. They had actually a countertop right here matching those countertops. But they're supposed to be here and they're supposed to be actual uh, pipe, you know, industrial piping here. And kind of like a farm, farmhouse style. And this is all warped up, warped out. Or I don't know. I mean, it's all... It's not even even this one goes down like big time and they put that back so I'm not happy about that everything else over here looks the same except that you know, they would just repaint it 
from last time. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Fix this corner right here. Right there, we painted the, this bedroom. This one does this bedroom wasn't that bad. And I don't know why they like to leave lights on. I mean I get it, they don't pay electricity. But I do, so <laughs> every time I come by here I had to turn off lights because they, they like leaving them on. I don't know why they like leaving lights on. Looks all wrinkly on that corner. And that's new too. They finish out the crown molding on this side and and this crown molding that's on the I don't know if this is like hallway for the bedroom, <laughs> but it is actually all connected here. Uh, this gives it looks the same. I don't think they're gonna fix this. I don't know why they they had to wait for me to say something. But this is this is pretty bad right here. So they're I mean they fixed it right here, they put caulking, so I mean they put caulking around this corner right here, so I know they noticed that. <laughs> so I mean, they're waiting for us to say something. We said something about the the pantry like three times already, but they still put everything back like they didn't hear anything. So, champion, if you're watching this, make sure you pay attention to your customers. I mean, they're the ones making your you know, paying you for the for everything that's being done here. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go walk outside and uh, show you the outside. There's a uh, some more progress done on the outside too. All right, now we're here outside, and it looks like they did the uh, the grading here. And the the guy, the same guy that's doing the grading. Is the same guy that was supposed to be finishing that up. Champion Homes, they haven't sent the right siding for this. So now we have to wait for that. Um, it looks like they uh, covered everything up. Now my plans for this water well. My plans for this water well is for me later on. I want to build a water well house, probably right here, and a wall here so I can put the edge right here, and then that's gonna end up being inside the, the water well house. And I'm gonna bring that put it inside the water well house <laughs> that's gonna end up outside and I'm gonna see if I can actually put a they, I forgot what they call it but this pipe right here 
actually goes underground from here down to the left to and then I'm gonna make it go up to the uh, so I can connect it to that tank but it's like a hookup on in there you stick like a one inch uh, tube in there you stick it in there you screw it and then you pull it out and that's how you unhook the water from from going in underground this way but I forgot, I forgot what they call that I, I've been looking at those and uh, it makes more sense to me especially you know after last year pretty bad uh, bad weather it was like zero degrees and the power went out in some areas and since we're living in a travel trailer we had to actually go to downtown and stay at a hotel because it would be closer to my house and not only that you know it's yeah uh, it was it was bad it was pretty bad and we uh put my dogs at the uh my brother's house but anyways that's over with uh i didn't mention the skirting but i put the skirting on there that's a different company the company that does the uh, skirtings for the house is actually the same person that put the uh, stairs right here and they just put it straight up from here on the back door they have a landing well I'll, I'll walk around here's a septic area that I marked for the survey guy But I'm gonna put a uh, pictures of how it looks like behind this, cause I, the one that when we came over here, it was rain. It was uh, actually raining, and uh, we actually got out of the truck, uh, walked around the house once, and it just started pouring on us, and we had to actually run in the truck. And I only took a picture, and it looks like this picture right here that I'm posting right now, and. Um, but it's just like a two by six, I think it was. All right, so I'm gonna keep going right here. Here's another landing for the door from our bedroom. And some stairs. I guess that's for the uh, critters to Go under there and take some uh, shelter under the stairs. Because <laughs> uh, of the uh, the board that goes down. And over here, nothing new. On this side too. Oh, I just noticed that they moved the uh, pile of grass that they removed from when they first got here. They removed the grass from for where they got put the pad on, and they just grab that and use it as grating. So you know that's gonna wash away, wash, get washed out. There's, a, there's one on the front. I don't know if you saw it, but so we had to get in there. Oh, there's my bucket. I guess the guy up fix the uh, water leak he's the same guy that's been doing the inside he works for a champion and he just came over here and cut that
cover underneath. He was trying to look for the water leak. And uh, he said he found it and he fixed it. And he just left it, left it like this. So like, didn't put tape on it or nothing and didn't replace the insulation. Now everybody knows that when insulation gets wet, it's not actually good for the insulation. But I guess him being, being in a construction business, did not know that and he missed the memo on that part. <laughs> so you got some wet insulation that got wet. It was cut and just left like that instead of putting some gorilla tape or some other tape back up there. So the uh under the house will be actually properly insulated. It looks like there's another he did another hole on that side. And right here we have a what you call those? Big daddy big foot long. yeah, daddy long leg or something like that. No one looks red. I've seen them that they look brown, but this one looks red almost. That's for that. Looks like he, he forgot a screw. Decking guy. Because <laughs> there's not one here. <laughs> all right well i think that's all that i have for this video i mean looks like they're moving along you know i'm just tired of living in the travel trailer my wife is tired of it for sure and I had to hear about that all every time and like if I'm the one out here working on this <laughs> uh, oh yeah they cover everything too over here all the electrical now I wish I would have thought of the water well before they actually cover this up that way I can actually drop another maybe like 60 amp or something like that breaker on here I could have dropped a line for the future uh, water well house over there so I can have some extra plugs and maybe put a, a water filter for treasure system but I didn't think about that until the other day I was sitting in my office and I was like maybe I should have dropped the a, a power line, an electrical line through here. But I didn't think about that and now I have to see if I can work with that. I don't know how many amps. If you know about water wells, if you can let me know how many amps this water pump. Well, I, I guess you're not gonna know since you don't get it just depends on the water pump they put in there and I have no idea what kind of water pump they put in there I guess we're not gonna know that looks like a really thin wire maybe about a 10 gauge or something anyways um, just uh, let's have a for this video uh, make sure you just like like and subscribe and like always if you want to get a sneak peek of what's going on before YouTube make sure you check me out on Instagram and follow me on Instagram that way you can do don't you don't miss anything and get a sneak peek of what's gonna happen next um, that's it Thank you for watching.